all my sunlight done went away. I was out here sunbathing, uh, tagging the weights. <sighs> tagging the weights. You see, my kids are still out here doing the damn thing. I'm ready to take them in the crib. But I wanted to go ahead and grab my uh, laptop and share this little shit with you, man. Sacrifice is a hell of a word. And at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. I could take this shit so many different ways, but um, I'm just going to say this, right? Like... It's going to take sacrifice. Period. Whether you got to get your emotions in check, that's sacrifice. How you feeling now for how you going to feel later. That's the sacrifice, man. You got to sacrifice shit for shit. <laughs> that's like the name of the game. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you don't like eating animals. Um, animals are alive, they live in, breathing, whatever the fuck you want to call it, right? But you eat plants. Well, we know that trees um, push out carbon dioxide and they absorb the oxygen or whatever the fuck you want to call it, right? So basically, plants breathe as well. Some of them do. But they live and grow as well. So you got to kill them niggas. In order to eat that shit too. You still killing niggas. You know what I'm saying? I remember there was some type of test done. Um, where they hooked up like the EKG or whatever the fuck it is. To a melon. To a couple different melons. You know what I'm saying? Let's just say, yeah, a melon. You know what I mean? And when they sliced the melon. It fucked them up completely. Because when they sliced the melon. They noticed that not only did this melon react in a way that they could actually record. So it's like it responded to being sliced. In a way that they could actually record the data. The melon next to it. Reacted when the melon. Adjacent to it was sliced. The melon. Both of the melons reacted. You see what the fuck I'm trying to say. So the one that wasn't getting cut. Reacted to the one that was getting cut. Like this nigga knew that nigga just got cut. How? So this is why they make movies like Sausage Party. If you ever want a nigga to decode Sausage Party and whatever else. This is why they make movies like that. Because this I mean you could just imagine. If them motherfuckers actually are alive. See what I mean? But my point I'm trying to get at is again. Even the trees. Even the plants. That lettuce. That salad. That you motherfucking eating was alive at one point something has to die in order for something to live period that's how it goes you know what i'm saying i mean that's life so to speak so like i said nigga sacrifice you gotta sacrifice shit in order to get shit you gotta sacrifice who you are now in order to be who you want to be you gotta sacrifice all that shit it's no problem you should have no problem killing a nigga if you grew up with um, your mom wasn't shit, didn't teach you shit, didn't show you shit, sacrifice that nigga, kill that human, you see what I'm saying, like, like, again, I could take this shit so many different levels, so many different ways, but I'm just out here cooling it with the kids and whatnot, I don't like I said, I done ran out of sunlight, so I'm gonna have to relocate and shit, <laughs> they having fun. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, I just really wanted to share it with you. Um, jump back on here, man. Sacrifice. For these priceless moments. You know what I mean? And shit like this is priceless moments. You know what I'm saying? And, and squeeze in these priceless moments as much as you can. Especially fellas, you know. Like, I'm Pops. You know what I'm saying? I, I read this somewhere. It might have been in a psychology thing or whatever, man. But, you know, moms nurture. They... they when the kids get fucked up, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here, I protect them, you know what I'm saying? I let them know it's all right to try shit, to do shit. You know what I mean? I'm here. I'm Pops, I'm the, I'm the protector, you know, they safe. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with them while I'm out here, you know? It's a different feeling than if mom was out here. If they got hurt, yeah, you know, mom's gonna come with the band-aids and shit. But now, let me wrong. 
I'll go in the first aid mode. However, I'm going to look, watch him bleed, let him feel the pain. Because <laughs> when it hurts enough, that's when you won't do certain shit. You live and you learn, my man. Oh, man. At least them niggas, you know what I'm saying? My little girl, I understand the, you know, now her, you know, the body is everything for, like, women. So I don't want her to get a lot of scars and shit like that that's going to, you know, stick around and whatever else. But my little guys, I'm like, nigga, chicks dig scars. Suck it up, little man. You be right, nigga. You cool. <laughs> you remember that one? That one, you didn't cry for that one. So why are you crying for this one? You be all right, man. You be all right. Let's go patch you up. But, you know what I'm saying? My baby girl, I'm like, oh, no, oh, don't do that. Oh, hold on now. <laughs> you know. But a lot of the times, it's they know I'm watching as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm watching. <laughs> so again priceless moments whoa I love you he's doing the worst on other things what? the sound of the fridge he's waiting on the screen he's just walking down here he can walk down there if he wants to he's oh. alright I trust him. I can see him. You know, daddy's fast. If I gotta run, I'll run. <laughs> but he's alright. He's go find his friends. Go find his friends. He got lost. Now I can't even see him anymore. You wanna walk across the street? See if you can see him? Mm -hmm. You can. I can see him. The Lewis came. Don't you walk down the street? No, don't walk down the street. So, anyways, I'm gonna get back to the kiddos. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, nigga, just wanted to share that shit with ya. Okay, man. He's alright. He's okay. <laughs> Go back to doing what you was doing. He'll be alright. He's going to go catch up with his friends. <coughs> so, I digress. <laughs> Man, feels really great out here, you know what I'm saying? It's just a hell of a day. I don't even know if it's autumn yet. It's just one of the breezy days. Now the wind is kicking up. You see that shit? I was out here in the sun baking like a motherfucker. Working on my shit. Urgh. See that shit? That's why we make short strokes. I was uh, doing upper chest. I'll show you something back. It was upper chest day. See, we got the bench on the incline. On an incline. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to work on that. Look, you dig? It's about the cuts. I just like the cuts. But trying to get this here, that whole tie in, how it stretches all the way across. Uh, like I said, man, we got here multitasking. Banging the weights, got my guys right, so we can get back day. Doing rear flies. We go front and back. Uh, let me grab this shit. So we mix in some back and front, but it was all about, you know what I'm saying, like I said, the upper chest, you got the lower chest, you can see the cuts, you see the cuts, nigga, but you got the upper chest and the lower chest, we was working upper chest today, bang one out for the cause, release some of this energy for you guys.
watching the kids. You know what I'm saying? Soaking in the moment. I was really out here meditating and shit. And I was like, man, so many things go through the mind. See, even when I say meditating, it's more like daydreaming. When you kind of get into the shit deeper than that, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I let my body knows what to do. You know what I'm saying? You just throw up the weights. You know, you go from one exercise to the next. So, the body knows what to do. I just let my mind wander. But, <laughs> man, listening to nature, soaking in all of this shit, like I said, it, it, it just really drove me to go run in there, grab the laptop, bring it on out here, like, you know what? Let's do a video. <laughs> Let's do a video and talk about this shit. And I don't mean to, you know, stall out like this. It's just really uh, an emotional thing. I'm getting ready to do another video. We're going to have to talk about this shit. We have to talk about this shit. But, like, the wave of emotions and shit. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, the kids is running around doing this and that. I don't really get to bring them into what I do. You know, we can be so busy chasing money and trying to hustle this up and hustle that up. I got to do this. I got to do that shit gotta work 10 hours a day or whatever you know what i'm saying well, sometimes it's just little shit like this you know <laughs> i'm out here with them they see me they know it's dad you know what i'm saying priceless shit like that <sighs> and sacrifice you know again i can't be doing that i i can I could have been at Planet Fitness right now, getting it in, you know what I'm saying? Working in the machines, doing this, doing that. Instead, I got my own little personal shit, and I'm out here on the block, on my front porch, right in front of the house, doing a damn thing. So, I can incorporate them into what I'm doing. Or incorporate what I'm doing, you know, I can, I can multitask, right? <laughs> All right, man, all right, man. I'm going to get on out here. Go back and go get me, fix me another drink. Because, uh, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> well, my cup is empty. That might be what the problem is, nigga. The cup is empty. I need to get more of that spirit in my life, man. I need more to feel it. The cup is empty. I'm out of juice. I didn't, I didn't bang around enough, man. Let me go and get up out of here. Plus, yeah, the blunt is <laughs> low. Oh, that's what it is, nigga. Shit. I smoke, drink, hit the weights. Nigga, my pre-workout is a shot of tequila with that little energy. With, I got a uh, amino energy drink. I, I'm just saying, nigga. I do what the fuck I do. You know what I'm saying? As far as I'm concerned, just working, nigga. I'm good. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I'm good. You know. But I, I got to give me another drink, man. And uh, we we gonna talk about it because, like I said, just that that whole wave of emotions and whatever else that just struck me just now, man. You know, there's the divine masculine and the divine feminine, and try incorporating them both, integrating both into yourself, understanding yourself and whatnot, man. It it it, it shit happens how it happens. You know what I mean? And being able to just deal with that, being in your feelings, you know what I'm saying, it's, 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 oh man, it's a whole fucking thing, but that's like I said, you know, we're gonna take, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some more drink, and crank out this next video, because, yeah, <laughs> it, 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 I see it all the time, and it's, it, it's funny as shit to me, as you can see, but it's like, yeah, nigga, I be looking at some of these chicks, and I'm like, yeah, man, she got a big dick, 
and I do mean women, ladies, some of y'all, yes ma'am, you know what I'm saying, like, you just, you just got to know it, but anyways, 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 man, I got the kids running around and whatever else, so, like I said, we, we, we gonna talk about it, even, and like I said, the divine masculine, a lot of you dudes, you know what I'm saying, y'all, y'all, ah, uh, my God, well, just like I said, even myself, as that little wave of emotions just flooded over me, and I suddenly got all tight, or whatever it is you want to call it, you know what I'm saying, it's just like being in touch with your feelings and shit, it's just, ugh, something about it, you know, ugh, it fucks with the man in me, <laughs> it's the best way I can put it, but I get it, you know what I'm saying, I, I at least I understand it, and that's a big issue, you know, so, we're going to talk about it. OZ the Wizard. I'm out of here, man.